Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Consciousness Unleashed Podcast with Bonnie Seratori. I'm your co-host, Cynthia. Bonnie Seratori is a master energy tracker, master energy healer, spiritual accelerator, and the founder of Spiritual Acceleration. You can find all her work at spiritualaccelerator.com, including all episodes of Consciousness Unleashed Podcast. And today, we have a special guest with us. It is Saroja Nimagata, also known as Rosie. I'll be calling her Rosie since I'm used to it. Throughout this podcast, I'll be using that nickname but her real name is Saroja, which is a beautiful name. I know Bonnie prefers to call her that. And uh, she, so today's episode is gonna be one of the two shamans and a muggles edition of the podcast because Saroja is, uh, Rosie is uh, one of the accelerators on Bonnie Saratori's team of amazing, amazing healers. And she's a, an amazing addition. And she has a series coming up uh, on obesity. And this is the topic today. We're gonna be talking about various uh, various issues that people with the condition have typically and perhaps many of these issues are uh, underlying causes perhaps of why people would even have obesity so we're going to get into a lot of these topics and so you can really learn about um, this topic in more in detail from a perspective that is really uh, like a holistic perspective a, a more uh, uh, energetic sh perspective, I guess you could say, spiritual perspective on why people might be having this condition. And of course, we're learning more about Rosie, who is amazing. And of course, you will also learn more about the series that she has, a three-part series uh, for obesity, which is going to be really incredible. So first off, uh, introducing Rosie, do you want to introduce yourself, Rosie, and share a little bit about yourself? Hi, everyone. My name is Saroja Nimagata. Everybody calls me Rosie or um, whatever you want. Want to call me? It's fine. I've been a spiritual. I just want to contribute to something to the community. And I feel obesity is a community is something is a topic that many people suffer from. You know, it's it's. Uh, I've suffered from obesity. Still kind of do. I feel it's a lot more than just willpower to you know eat right and exercise. I think there's a lot more underlying issues about it. A lot of it is emotional. You know, trauma, abuse. Um, how you look at yourself, you might not, you might think you see yourself as this way, but it's really not that way. That, that's like body dysmorphia, and then things like that from society's judgments, cultural judgments, how you lived, up, how you grew up. So all these things I want to address in my obesity series, and I'm really looking forward to it. And um, hope to see many of you there. Thank you, Saroja. I want you to share a little bit about your life, about you. You know what I'm saying about you, about your journey. You know what I mean? Just give a little information about yourself and your, you know, your journey. Now you're an accelerator, you know, it's pretty huge. I just want to talk to you a little bit about how I got to the point where I am today. Um, I've suffered from a lot of abuse ever since I can remember abuse, bullying, trauma, being raised with, by a father was at the time I thought was disciplinary, or turns out it was more abusive. And I'm, I was raised by a mother who was very passive and uh, really suffering from her own abuse from my father. And I grew up with a lot of bullying, feeling outcasted, feeling hated, really severe depression, really severe social anxiety. Just didn't, you know, just feel, felt like I, I didn't fit in, felt like, you know, you wanna die, I wanna die. And I was, and I got top of all that, I ended up having an arranged marriage, marrying this guy, who turned out to be like, kind of like a narcissistic uh, abusive jerk and um you know he and uh pretty much i was stuck in that and then i ended up having two kids two lovely adorable kids my son who is autistic and nonverbal and my daughter was born three years after my son there's a lot of abuse going on with my husband at the time toward me because he didn't understand how i was my social anxiety my psychological problems my emotional problems he didn't get it and then he finds out he has a son who has autistic and he, he goes through, he goes to abuse, uh, physical abuse. And then he talks to me like we should have had him aborted and all that. And that's, it just adds up to the, it just adds up and adds up and adds up. So it's, I got to the point where I, I, after 20 years, I don't know how I managed to stay that long, but after 20 years, uh, with the help of um, some, uh, a, a, an exchange center, a free exchange center where they give a, services, counseling services, and from the abuse my son received from my from, from his uh, father, 
for being different. I guess this enough, it's enough. And my daughter also setting, suffering from abuse from, my, from her father. I decided to leave and uh, we, um, I, I just left. Uh, I, got, I got, got into a shelter, a domestic violence shelter. I just left, got a lawyer, went through the process of you know, getting a divorce that took over a year. And during that time, I was looking for, um, even before that, I was looking for stuff to, because I couldn't go to a psychologist, a psychiatrist to, you know, try to help anything. My husband wouldn't, oh, at the, my husband at that time wouldn't allow it. So, because, you know, you know, he doesn't want me to see a psychiatrist. He doesn't want anybody to know. I asked him one time, he says, well, you know, no, no, no psychologist, psychiatrist is good here. So I tried to do something online on the YouTube. And I found, at the time, I found some Reiki videos which were okay, which were good, which were good. They kind of calmed me down. And eventually I did kind of a session um, that kind of led me to Bonnie's uh, meditation, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, claiming your sovereignty meditation. And I did that a lot. I did that, that was the first thing I did for, for, for a while, for like months. Then I decided, hmm, let me see what else is going on. Let me look at these clearings. So I tried these clearings. The first one I tried these group clearings they get in the clearing vault. I tried the healing trauma responses one. I tried that one. It was like amazing. Uh, I never felt something like this before. It felt like a serious shift in me. And then from then on, I kept doing more clearings, more group clearings. And then I looked at, I, I, I signed up for the Facebook and the uh, live Q&A and the quantum consciousness. I was listening to those. I saw um, new advertisements for se uh, semi-privates. So I started doing those a lot. I just got really interested in how Bonnie was taught doing like these dark forces and these entities and all this, uh, you know, implants. I just want to learn more about it and decided to, let me see if I can do it. And I, at that time, I didn't think I had any, you know, uh, spiritual gifts or intuitive gifts. So um, I just went, I, I, I signed up for the training with that at the time was Chris and I believe it was Rosa at the time. And I did the training. I found out I did have some, I did have talents and I did that. And then about a year Two later after that, I did the uh, apprentice training with Bonnie, which even up leveled my gifts even more in the training. The pods were great. Got a lot of experience with the pods, practicing with other classmates. So that was really great. And then I decided to try to become a spiritual accelerator and I, I tested for it, I applied for it and I got it. And here I am. And uh, yeah, still a journey. I'm still working on myself. I'm still doing lots of clearings on myself. It's like. It's not like a, it's not like a, like a stop, you become a, a spiritual accelerator, and you stop working on yourself. Obviously, you always have to work on yourself, clear yourself, you know, work on your emotions, feel into your emotions, all that. So I'm really dedicated to, to being an accelerator and also um, healing myself. Thank you. Well, it's okay. When I, I, mean, I remember working, I remember her commitment, you know, it was like she always showed up. You know, she came to group clearing. She came to semi-private. She got private stuff. You know, she she just gave her life to just really studying and and doing this. And the truth is, is Sarosha is a very potent, powerful healer. She really is. You know, and I'm really happy to have her on the team. And I love the name Sarosha. So, <laughs> you know, she's going to be doing this series. And I think you know anyone who's struggling with some of the issues that we'll be talking about. You know, I think you you would be well to do the program with her the, the group clearing with her somewhere private because it will definitely move energy and it'll make it easier for you to be in the world it'll make it easier for you to be with whatever's happening with your body okay so i'm just really thrilled that she's doing this that she's offering this so rosie i do have questions about uh, certain things that you mentioned and how you chose the topics for the series. So you have three that's coming up. It's called, one of them, the first one was called Clearing Body Dysmorphia. And I didn't even know what that meant until I saw <laughs> I saw that the clearing was coming up. I had to look it up. And it's yeah. a very interesting topic. You wanna to talk about the body of the dysmorphia? Yeah, sometimes we see something in ourselves that's not really there based on whatever uh, program we've had in our past or even past lives. We look in the mirror, and we see something like really much worse than it actually is. And I want to clear out the stuff that shows you for what you actually are, a beautiful divine soul, which is pretty much what we all are, uh, people of, of divine love and light. Um, what you look like on the outside isn't the issue. It's who you are on the inside. 
But of course, we have to deal with health issues and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, it's just like, you know, it, get out the mind, the mind thoughts of that you look ugly when you don't, nobody looks ugly. You know, you, you have, I have two, two big uh, feet. I have a big tummy. Uh, it, you know, it, 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 people exaggerate how they look like. And that's what I want to clear out. It's not as bad as what you think. Great. Yes. Yeah. I'm aware of that. I've heard about that. But I mean, I think we all do it on some level. Yeah. We're not seeing ourselves clearly. You know, it's like we look in the mirror and we're judging, judging. And what Saroja is really offering is let's clear out those interferences that are causing those judging thoughts. And then you see yourself more clearly with an open heart, just like you would, you know, seeing somebody that you love. You're not judging them, making them wrong. And when we take that weight off, you know, take that pressure off, it loose, it lit, lit allows us to be more uh, self-expression and, and happier, more joyful, more at peace, more, you know, just everything just opens up. So that's an amazing topic. That's going to be very powerful. I think that ties in really well with your third one in the series, which is clearing cultural and societal judgment biases, because you were talking about um, how people have these, uh, you know, distortions and how they view themselves. And a lot of that go comes into um, the perceptions that we have of other people and their society's um, judgments about us. And that kind of shapes the way we see things. So do you want to talk about that, Rosie, from your perspective and how that has maybe contributed to your your issues as well and your obesity, perhaps? Yes, sure. Yeah, society is very judgmental when it comes to weight loss. It's It's either you work, get the willpower in you, eat properly, exercise like two hours a day, and that's the way it is. There is no other way of losing weight. You cannot take the so-called easy way out. You cannot take a weight loss drug. You can't do uh, clearings. You know, you have to, it's, it's either that's the way to do it because that's the way, but that's not that's not the way it's supposed to be done. That's not, it doesn't work that way. Not everybody's the same. Some people have, might have different uh, issues. Uh, you know, this society puts a lot of pressure on people to lose weight. You know, if you see somebody overweight, they everybody's staring at them, making them feel uncomfortable. I go to the gym, somebody's overweight, they they stare at them, they make me they they feel make them feel outcasted. So it's like any even when you're growing up with your own culture, you know, they you have to eat so much of this fried food and everything, or this rice, which I will make you gain weight. And then they expect you and you gain weight, and then they put and then they, you know, the parents are hard on you, you know, you're gaining weight. Well. What are you supposed to do? It's like, you know, it's just, a, it's society is a very, I feel society puts a lot of pressure on uh, overweight people or obese people to get, to, to lose the weight. And they, the more pressure they put on it, that's for, it becomes very more and more harder to lose the weight because they don't feel they're getting the support or, you know, social media, all the comments on social media. Well, you know, she's overweight or he's, you know, this, he's taking this, this drug to make it easy for herself. You know, it's all this, all this judgment and people should just mind their own business. They should, but they don't. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you're clearing out the, the, the reactions to other people's judgments and yeah. yeah so the clearing, so this is just to make it really clear. Saroja will be clearing out so much of your beliefs and, and some of the emotional energies that are in there as well as uh, other people's energy because people's emotion gets us, lodges in us and we you know we can't really know the truth of what we're really feeling when we have other people's emotions so in her clearings in this in these semi private clearings you know she'll be re releasing and clearing with things that are like really vitally important to get out because none of these these thoughts and beliefs and emotions are true and real they just cloud everything they don't allow for the real person just to just to show up, just to you know open the heart and share the gift of who they are. Okay. So, you know, people are at all different weights. Some are obese, some are skin and bones. I mean, it's just all over the map. But being at peace with ourselves, I think, is is really vitally important because if we can just love who we are, no matter what we're looking like, you know, I mean, how much easier, better, joyful will life be? when we can accept ourselves. So Saroja will be helping with that. You know, she'll be helping clearing out all the sense of subconscious carryover. I mean, it's just incredible how much there is involved with obesity or being overweight. There's, there's just so much trauma and tragedies and carryovers and discarnates. And I mean, it just goes on and on and on. So, you know, Saroja is going to really 
dig, dig deep into your subconscious and unravel massive amounts of interferences that keep you from just shining your light and loving yourself and loving your life and being happy. So I have a question for both of you. Maybe Bonnie, you could um, talk about this. You often talk about, you know, everything that you teach is from that perspective of uh, your, your spiritual perspective. And you talk about how people agree to have these experiences. And so could you talk about how maybe people have agreed like pre-birth to have this condition and maybe things about past lives and all the different components that obviously Rosie will be um, clearing out during this three-part series. Could you talk about that, Bonnie? Yeah, I mean, people, okay. here's the thing. People don't understand what a clearing really is, okay? Unless you've really experienced it repeatedly, you really don't know. So in a clearing, we're not just looking, oh, you had a past life, let's clean that up, or oh, you've got beliefs or whatever. No, you have agreements that you have made coming from past lives. What also happens is let's just say way in the past, something happened and you know you gained weight and then you anchored it in to the subconscious that you know that there's something wrong with this, you shouldn't be gaining weight, you got judgments around it, and then you have a belief that you'll never be able to lose your weight. So what happens is is we got this carryover. So if you've got it anchored in that you're never going to lose weight, you're going to be obese, guess what's going to happen? You'll come into this lifetime and you will become obese. It's going to happen. Okay. We don't know why you made those decisions or beliefs came about, but somewhere in the live stream, using more than one time. In fact, when I'm tracking lots of people that are that have obesity, it isn't just one lifetime. There's many, 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 50, 100 lifetimes where something happened that caused a person to become obese, okay? Abuse can cause it, um, being like all the stuff that Sarosia experienced, you know, being hurt physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually harmed, you know, and all of that trauma. And But the truth is, is that it didn't begin here. The trauma's way back. And she has been working to unravel all of her, you know, the traumas from, from past lives, as well as this lifetime. And, the carryover, though, is coming, and we, what happens is we anchor in a belief. We have a conclusion. We have an emotion, and we die with that. Well, guess what? It doesn't go away. So we carry it over. We recreate it here in this lifetime. And then what we're trying to do in this lifetime is to open the heart, you know, share the gift of who we are, and we've got all this trauma and horror and crisis and uh, where we've been severely hurt, damaged, tortured, you know, whatever and heartache, heartbreak, all that energy. And it just, you know, it just creates a folding in on the self. So, you know, the carryover from past lives, we have soul agreements that we make to know ourselves in certain ways. The problem with all of this is that we make an agreement to have an experience to know ourselves in a certain way, but then we're in the lifetime and we don't have the memory or the knowing what these agreements are or what they're about. We just have the experience, oh, this is happening to me. I'm a victim. Poor me. Why is this happening? There must be something wrong with me. I'm bad. I'm forsaken, whatever, okay? None of that's true and real, but we anchored into the into the subconscious. And once it's anchored in, you know, all of our, we will come into the life and, and we won't do what we came here to do. And then we die and we do it again, have those same agreements again. All right, I'll get it this time. But no, we don't have our teachings. Oh, so we come in again. And we do it repeatedly. So what Rose, what Sarosha is going to be doing, she's going to be ending this cycle. Okay, ending this cycle of the belief or the programming or whatever you've got running in your subconscious, carried over from past lives. She'll be cleaning this stuff up. Okay, so you won't be carrying this forward into your next lifetime. Clean this up. There's trauma in there. There's tragedy in there. There's reasons why people gain weight. Think about it. We're padding, we're pushing away, okay? We're trying to save ourselves, protect ourselves, okay? Abuse, neglect, harm, hate, all kinds of things are happening. We just keep padding, 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 okay? So let's get to the core of stuff. Let's get to, real, get, get to the real reason why you became obese. And with the help of Sarosia, your life will change. Yeah, but the second one I'm doing is clearing trauma and abuse. And that's, you know, We've all suffered from trauma, um, all of us, whether it's physical, emotional, sexual, spiritual, mental, psychological, and you know the trauma that we suffer from childhood, even past life traumas, can contribute to 
the obesity or the protection that we put on ourselves to have this extra layer of fat. And some have even, they're like, they just uh, don't want to just deal with the world. They're just so traumatized that they don't feel that they deserve to be healthy, that it's almost like they're killing themselves by being so overweight or so, you know, obese. And I just want to clear all that stuff out. Like if like sexual abuse, you know, if, I, if they become overweight, if they have sexual abuse, you know, if they become overweight, they feel it's a protection so they won't get unwanted attention, sexual attention. So I just want to clear out all the, all the abuse that anybody suffered that's left to their overweight. Me personally, I've gone through many clearings and I'm still, you know, I've, it's my weight is much better in terms of my eating, but still kind of an issue for me. So it's not that it's not a simple thing where, you know, you clear, do one clearing and that's it. It's a, it's a commitment to really get to the point where like, you can clear all this trauma and abuse from you, this deep, sad, this deep seated heartbreak, this deep seated trauma, the deep seated uh, heartbreak and, you know, just, just uh, just terror and horror within you and just clear it out so that you can, you know, be more loving toward yourself, more accepting of yourself. And then that way it becomes more easier to, you know, eat properly, exercise. You won't have to feel afraid of going to the gym or even exercising at home. So that's what I want to do. I just want to clear all that stuff out. This is huge, you guys. Is there anything that we haven't touched on, Rosie, that you really want to talk about yes so i just want to introduce the three clearings i'll be doing there'll be there are small group clearings small group energy clearings the first one is called clearing body dysmorphia that'll be on saturday october 28th at 3 p.m eastern time the second one is called clearing trauma and abuse that is done on saturday uh, october 26th at 3 p.m eastern and the third one is clearing Societal and Cultural Judgments and Biases. That'll be done on November 23rd at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And it says it'll be a small group and um, I will spend time a little bit, spending a certain amount of time with each one of you uh, to, to uh, help with your uh, clear out issues to specific to you, but you'll all be receiving the benefit of each other's clearing. And in the end, I'll just go deeper and deeper and ravel, do a whole group clearing in the end. I do want to mention too that people get the replay from this as well. So like Rosie said earlier, it's a process. You don't get through all of it just in one 30 minute clearing or however long. This In this case, it's gonna be longer because she's gonna work with each of you for a certain amount of time. And then there'll be a whole group clearing at the end. And as he was saying before, it's a process, it's a journey, and you get the replay so you could visit that over and over and over again and just go deeper into your clearings and to really learn to love and accept yourself and and take the steps necessary for you to change how you want to change in your life and have the life that you want. So thank you so much, Rosie. This is a great um, episode. And thank you for doing this series because you're actually the first accelerator on Bonnie's team who is doing these small group energy clearings and who is actually tackling this topic, which Bonnie actually has never really done specifically the obesity thing. I know she has some group clearings on like loving your body and like the relationship with food, but nothing that was specifically on this topic. So it's a great addition. And it's, by the way, people, this is not something you could buy later. Like it won't be in the library. Mm -hmm. So you need to get it now. And and I've saw people are buying it. So you gotta get in now before it's sold, sold out. And um, I was checking the other day uh, how many are still available and it's it's going. So you gotta get in now. And <laughs> Rosie is a popular, <laughs> Rosie is a popular accelerator. She's great at what she does. So I hope that you all could get in uh, while it's available. Limited seats, guys, everybody. So the links are in the description. Once again, September 28th, October 26th, and November 23rd are, are the series. And you do get discounts if you buy two or more. Any last words, Bonnie and Rosie, you want to leave with people to just, you know, get them some good advice on, on their journey for this condition? I just want to say I'm really grateful that Saroja is actually doing this. And like uh, Cynthia was saying, we don't have any group clearings on these particular issues that Saroja is going to be covering. So... And again, this isn't, you won't be able to buy this. Cynthia said, you won't be able to buy it. You won't be able to buy this in the library or in our vault. This is an, in, you know, you have to join it. You, you're, it's a small group and only the people who participated get the recording. 
So get in on it. It's going to be huge. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to another episode of Consciousness Unleashed podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like the video, subscribe, comment below, and let Rosie know how awesome she is in the comments. And of course, links to all of this will be in the description below. And if you're listening to this on Apple or Spotify or any of the podcast platforms, please leave us a review. It really does help us to get more uh, attention. And people need the work that Bonnie and her team is doing. And if, it really does help us out. And it helps the world out. So it would I would really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, again, for tuning in. Thank you, Bonnie, for always your awesome wisdom. Rosie, thank you for being awesome and having this series. And thank you to myself, because I never thank myself at the end. <laughs> 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 this is great. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Yeah. All righty. Bye. Bye.